Okay, so it's been a while since we took a little journey in this direction of my property. Don't mind the mess. Still work in progress as always. Look at this beautiful rose. This is a climbing rose that we got from my mama. It has finally decided to bloom again for the third time this year. And it is doing really, really well. Yes, I have all my fireplace utensils out here for campfires and such. Now, if we walk this away, to our little bridge over here. There's one grapevine here. It is doing pretty good. This is our green grape. I forgot about him over here. This is a purple seedless grape. It's not doing the best, but it is growing. He's growing up the side there. He's got two lanes coming off of him. A deer came and pulled out my beans out of that planter there, so I'm not too impressed over that. This would be Fernie's cucumber bed where she's planted all them seeds together. We dug out, I don't know, five or six and gave them to a friend of ours, but still, that didn't make a dent into it. But they are growing very well. It is loaded, full of blossoms in here. They are everywhere. I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see them. But they're in here. Hopefully it's not too late in the season and that we will get some cucumbers. My pole bean has finally decided to start growing. It's doing pretty good in here. And down below here, we do have some beans on here. This squash plant over on the other side of this arbor is doing pretty good. And we do got one bean that's slowly growing here. Because when the deer came in here, it decided, well, I'm going to eat off her beans, in which they did. But they did leave me two. Now, my corn, it is growing pretty good. It is starting to put in some ears in here. Where are they? They are in here. Somewhere. Everything is starting to die off from all this heat that we've been having. I ain't got much left between the deers and this heat, I tell you. But this squash plant that I thought I'd plant it, I don't know. I'm not sure. I think I might have planted a pumpkin. There's a couple in here starting to grow. A couple more down in there. But, yeah, I'm starting to think I actually planted a pumpkin and not squash. Oh, well, I'll take you back over here again. And we have Lane clearing out this area in here. See if I can find my way in here. He's got all of this. Let's 
some kind of down tree still in here to contend with. Other than earlier today, this is really the first time I've ever been in on this piece of our property on this lot. He has been weed whacking out a lot of raspberries. Reminiscent of the kids being in here playing. We do. We have logs in here that we gotta chop up into firewood. This would be the big maple that's down in here. That he is that's as far as we're going in on this side, as far as where you see, to the back side of that maple. Still got to cut a little bit out of here. And then of course, straight down that way towards the driveway. But it's been a very hot day for him in here working. But that's what we are accomplishing here today. It's been a while since we threw out a video of what we're actually doing here. This is what we are up to. And to give you an idea, from where I am in my driveway. You can see down in there. That would be our camper and our van. So we're in here a little ways, just to give you an idea. But thank you all for watching and God bless and have a wonderful day. This is our whippersnapper that he's using. It's a gas powered Radley. It's not the lightest in the world. Then we got this here attachment head. These little tiny blade teeth things that spin around. And they do really well for cutting through the smaller trees and so forth. There's three of them on it. It's getting some of them worn down already. This is the second batch of these blades because they are replaceable. You just buy the replacing blades and snap them in. What size tree can you go? Put the size of your thumb or under. Anything more than that really kills it really quick. Using his new chainsaw from Amazon, it was it wasn't a lot of money. It was only like hundred and sixty nine dollars. I think it's a sixty cc with a twenty inch bar. So we're trying this fall out, seeing what it holds up against.
forest to bring down firewood? Huh? Are you allowed to use your leg yet? So you get to sit there all comfy on a swing still. Well, you're not very nice. You're getting quite the pile brought out. Mommy, what do you want done with the chair? With the chair? The old chair we had in the We'll put it over there. When it's closed,